Mm -mm -mm. This is the chef's special. It's called Shellman's Big Bang Bazinga Bing Bong Burger. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Bargaining with Beer Nuts. You might be wondering why this doesn't look like a rundown apartment. Well, because it's not. My best friend allowed me to use his kitchen for this, the 10 subscriber special. Today we'll be tackling the infamous Super Mega Shellman's Big Bang Bazinga Bing Bong Burger, so let's not waste any more time. Okay, we can afford some time to look her up just a little bit. Well, maybe a lot, considering what we're cooking today. Let's begin. First, we'll start by grilling up a few sliced onions at medium heat. Sweet or white onions will work just fine here. This shouldn't take too long, up to five minutes or until the onions are browned and tender. Pat a quarter pound beef patty for good luck and toss it into a pan, medium to medium high heat. A good cook will tell you to season your patty beforehand, but I am not a good cook. So you can season with salt, pepper, garlic powder, or whatever else you prefer after placing in the pan. Trust me, it will still come out tasting delicious. While you let the patty cook, now is the time to prepare vegetables if you so choose. Chop lettuce, slice tomatoes, grab pickles, whatever your heart desires. Hey Topher, are you excited for this burger? No. Let's try that again. Hey Topher, are you excited for this burger? Yes. That's more like it. Butter up some buns because it is a sin to make a homemade burger without toasting your buns. Place those face down on a separate pan at about medium heat for no more than a few minutes. Once they're golden brown, you are good to go. After the patty's cooked, top with a slice of cheddar cheese and let melt for just about a minute, at which point we will be ready to start plating. Spread mayo on both toasted buns, put a good handful of lettuce on top bun, followed by a tomato slice, then patty and cheese on bottom, grilled onions, ketchup, and any other toppings you like, before gently topping with the veggie side. And voila, you have yourself a classic burger. And now for the taste test. So this classic style burger is pretty damn good. Just a little bit of pink in the middle, great flavor combination, highly recommend this one. However, we're not quite done just yet. Now onto the Shellman's Big Bang Bazinga Bing Bong Burger. Start with a can of Fancy Feast cat food, scraping out about half the can or just about enough to cover the whole burger. Then grab any generic brand chocolate sauce and smother what was once a self-respecting classic burger. The final step to any great Big Bang Bazinga Bing Bong Burger is a light sprinkle of grated Parmesan cheese to really tie the whole thing together. And that is all it takes for this delectable entree. And now, the taste test. You will notice the reluctance. Ugh. Oh, that was it. There's the cat food. <laughs> and of course, I wasn't content with just the one bite. This burger was so good, I had to finish the entire thing. Now on to the palate. The Fancy Feast brings to the table what no human food could possibly dream. The mushy texture mixed with an overly salty and bitter taste blends well with the sweet, decadent chocolate syrup. The flavors truly overpower everything else present in the burger. I couldn't even taste the meat at that point. Thankfully, the tomato eventually slips out halfway through, arguably the worst part. I only added it for aesthetic sake. And the grated Parmesan adds just the slightest touch to round out the meal. A nutty finish to what can be described as perfection. I'm dry! <laughs> and that is why the Shaman's Big Bang Bazinga Bing Bong Burger is joining the partially clean plate club. Pretty good, but I probably won't be making it ever again. Bye, and thank you so much for getting me to 10 subscribers. It truly honestly means a lot to me that you want to stick around and watch some stupid shit that I'm about to, that I'm gonna eat or do whatever whatever's coming in the future from Topher Pro for it so stick around for upcoming projects and I'll see you in the next one for some deleted scenes that didn't quite make the final cut. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stupid zoo! Literally, what is the difference? This is smushed. Oh my gosh. Go! Oh. <laughs> Kiss! <laughs> Don't let that camera touch the body. Oh god! Shake it.
<laughs> you haven't been saying action. That's why we're having so many problems. Action. Sorry.